Hello, I created the Hold Your Ground plugin in order to help players restrict their character movement when performing actions at a distance. What I mean by this is more easily explained by examples. For a Tileman example, if we go back to episode 1 of Settled's Tileman series, no! If I can talk to him and then lock him in next to me... We can see he's trying to both attack and pickpocket men while only being allowed a single tile. A few times he's clicked on an NPC and is pathed out of his allowed area. What? This is so difficult. It is so difficult to stay on the on only one tile because I can't predict NPC pathing. Like For a chunk locked example, if we choose a chunk locked account with a similar gravitas and viewership as Cell, then we would of course land on Chunk Valer, the chunk locked barbarian. In episode one of that series, Chunk Valer is attempting to lure imps from outside of his chunk and is pulled out of the chunk by bad pathing when targeting those imps. Hold Your Ground attempts to fix these boundary breaks with a few customizable options which can limit your abilities and ultimately save you from performing actions that would ruin your account's integrity. It does this by holding back your clicks on NPCs if they're too far away from your player and would cause your player to move. The idea is you'd place yourself at the boundary of where you wish to interact with something. For Settled, that would be the only tile that he has. For Chunk Valer, that would just be the closest tile to the spawn point of the imp along the chunk's edge. You would then configure the max tile range config setting in the Runelight plugin sidebar. Once again, Settled was pickpocketing and melee attacking men and goblins in the area, so he would want to set this value to 1, as that's the max range that you can interact with a pickpocket without taking any more steps towards your target. Chunk Valer, however, would want to set this value to 10, as Chunk Valer is luring imps in using magic and spells in this game have a max range of 10. After this, there are several config toggles that allow you to customise the holding of your actions. Hold your attacks will stop the player from attacking an NPC if the distance from your player's tile is greater than the max tile range that we just set up. Hold your spells works similarly, but will work on any spell that you've clicked on in the magic tab and then clicked on the NPC. It's worth noting now that the plugin uses two methods to determine whether an NPC is targetable. There's the max tile range, which you set up yourself. This works how you'd imagine. However, it's again worth noting that the way that ranges work in this game is kind of strange. They form a square around the player, not a circle. Just something to keep in mind. Secondly, the plugin will consider the line of sight in its calculations. If an NPC is behind a wall but still technically within your max tile range and you clicked it, your player would path around the wall, potentially moving you out of your allowed area, and so line of sight is taken into account for this as well. There's a few more toggles, hold your conversations, hold your trades and hold your pickpockets, all work as expected, they're quite similar to the melee attack. Hold your users stops you using items on NPCs, similar to using a spell. Not massively sure if anyone would ever use this, but if you do come up with an idea for this, let me know. And now for my favourite config, hold your horses. This one just stops the player from moving at all when you click any floor tiles. This is quite limiting, obviously, but it will ensure that if you spam click an NPC, there's no chance of you misclicking and clicking the floor, causing your character to path out there. Finally, we have the require stationary. This one will allow you to click NPCs, but only if they're currently doing their idle animation. This helps to reduce the chance that you're going to be dragged along with the NPC if the NPC was currently walking. Unfortunately, there's no way to know whether an NPC will start moving, but this does help to reduce the chances of being dragged for sure. And the last two config settings are just for your own debugging. Overlay will highlight which tiles within your max tile range also have the line of sight, and show chat messages just toggles whether you'll be notified in chat as to why a particular click was held back. But yeah, that's that. Let me know what you think. Give it a go.